Good afternoon. Welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, I'm getting Izzy out for a second walk, and then we're getting ready for a big storm tonight. It is a little bit afternoon and the school's closed. We already went and picked up Natalie and I'm getting her out for a second walk because we have no idea when the next time she'll be able to take a walk is. The snow is just starting and we're supposed to get five to eight inches and 40 mile an hour winds, which is a full blown blizzard. But who knows? You never know what we're going to get. We could get one inch, we could get 12 inches. If we... Izzy? Out of the woods. She's not supposed to go into the woods on this side because there's a barbed wire fence. You can see it right there. And what she was just doing is very naughty. But where she went in, the fence is down, I believe. And the, there's a deer run there, so she was probably following the deer tracks. You don't go in that woods, honey. You go in your own woods. This is her woods, and there's no, no barbed wire in there. Okay, where did she go in? These are deer tracks from last night. Where's your tracks, little girl? You can see the fence goes down in a couple places. It's down right here. Huh, I can't even see where she went in. And it's completely down here. And I believe it stays that way. And then you get a ton of deer coming through. Ah, here's where she was going in right here. No fence. So it is starting to snow a little harder now. Like I said, we're, we have somewhere to go tomorrow. Natalie and I were going to go to Milwaukee for a Christmas celebration. And I'm doubting that that's going to happen. The, there's a winter weather advisory till 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. And living up on a ridge like this, it's a real bad idea to go out driving in a weather advisory. I haven't gotten much done today that I could videotape. I messed around with this and that and the other thing, but eh, none of it was good enough for prime time. So this will end up being the entire video today. Kind of a wasted day. I'll let it snow some more and then I'll show you what a blizzard looks like if I can later on. It'll be kind of hard, but I'll see if I can do it. Right now, I gotta get back and work on the furnace. We have a flame detector that is out. I fixed it last year just by cleaning it. And I believe, well, it's probably just dirty again, but we got a new one anyways. That's super hard to get at, so it's just gonna be hours of messing around. So I had to go to the machine shed to get some tools and figured I'd walk her right away. Yeah, it's going to be a winter wonderland. It's not too bad right now. It's 20 some degrees and we're kind of in a in an interesting spot. There's less wind from here even though we're up fairly high all the way down to our machine shed but when you come out right by our machine shed it's always very windy there's like a wind tunnel that goes down a huge ravine over there so it's not too bad right here but this snow is starting to get a little heavy can't really tell how well this shows on here but it's coming down fairly well now Okay, so now Izzy has to come and wind down. Such a good girl. Okay. Now the wind 
is picking up. Like I said, as the storm moves in, we're supposed to get up to 40 mile an hour winds, so it is going to be just terrible out in a little while. Being up on the top of the ridge like this, right by our house, we will probably have nearly zero snow and then right in the back of the house and probably this area here there could be several feet so it'll be pretty interesting okay she found a stick so I have to play with her until she loses it it disappears in this fluffy snow you see how how it just mostly disappeared there usually after three four throws she'll completely lose it and the game's over I don't know what she's gonna do after a good snow because finding sticks is gonna be near impossible soon That one kind of disappeared. Yeah, I know you're doing a good job. <sighs> when she doesn't have a stick, she likes to run as fast as she can and burrow her face into the snow while she's running. And she looks like a snow plow. So, I call it snow plowing. She likes any game that makes, that makes it harder. She likes running through real tall grass because it's harder to run. I guess that's just how she gets her workout. You're full of snow, little girl. You're going to be really sad when this blizzard hits and you can't go out. Well, it's already here, but the wind hasn't picked up yet. At well, least not down here under the ridge. The top of the ridge is up there. So we're a little bit sheltered because it looks like the wind's coming out of the southeast here. This way. All right, you can hear the wind now. This is the ravine that funnels the wind and it's gonna be really windy right up here. But we'll play fetch anyways, won't we? Oh, she might have, ah, oh, she got it. Good girl. Bring it here. I bet my lens.
lens is all messed up. Let me clean this for a quick... Nope. It's okay. Uh, I don't know if the sound is getting messed up, but it's... That's getting windier. Let's go take a look at them horses. Are you sure you're not done? Uh-oh. It's in the brambles. I'm not going back there. Oh, good. Good girl. It's not super bad yet, but it's snowing pretty good. For three days after this snow, it's going to be sub-zero at night and single digit and I believe a little bit of teens during the day, but then it's going to warm up to the 30s again. Leave the horses alone. Got the coats on the horses because of the wind. They're kind of enjoying it. They get extra food too to keep them warmer. Okay, we got to go get them tools now and then I'll throw for her a couple more times. No, I'm not going back. She wants me to go back to the end and do it one more time, right? Honey, I gotta go get tools. Play by yourself for a little bit. Go play. Okay. Now, I just have to fix the furnace. I don't remember if I even mentioned that, but our furnace has been out for, oh, maybe a week now. And it'd be nice to have it running in this real cold weather coming up. But we heat with wood for the most part, so we don't need it, but it's kind of nice to not have to get up really early in the morning and stoke the stoke the stove if you don't have to. The furnace will kick in for a little bit and, and then you can get out and stoke the stove at your leisure. All right, honey pup. Come on, we got to go in now. Leave. Oh, here, bring it. No, bring it better. Come on, get it. Bring it, honey. That wasn't a very good bring. No, I'm not going to throw it. I'm going to lean it up against the house so it doesn't get buried. So we can throw it next time. I'm thinking ahead. No, no, honey. Let's get in the house and get the snow melted. That was a fun walk, wasn't it? I'm not going to throw it. Sorry. No, no, come on. Go ahead. Okay, that's going to wrap it up. She's already thawing out. No, honey. Somebody else will throw for you in a little bit, okay? It'll be really fun, but not right this second. Okay. I'm going to get back to work out here in a little bit, but 
I think I'm going to sign off for now. I have to go work on that furnace. And then let me get back to these baffles when I'm done with that. Yeah, the, with the furnace, it's just a, it's like a metal rod. Um, I'm not sure what kind of metal it is. You're not supposed to touch it or anything. But it sticks in right uh, next to the igniter. So when the gas blows, it ignites. And after, well, I think it's three seconds or so, if that thing doesn't sense that there's flame, then it shuts off the gas. That way you don't get your house filled up with gas and have an explosion. We had one down by the river uh, probably three years ago. Just blew the house into little splinters. I don't know how well you can see through the screen there, but these snowflakes are getting really big, so this is going to be a pretty interesting storm. I mean, it's not that big of a snowstorm, but with the winds that we're going to get, it'll be interesting to see where the snow deposits. I mean, you can get the whole side of your house built up with snow when you have 40 mile an hour winds. Okay, that's going to wrap this up. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, feel free to do so now and click on the update icon. We post videos nearly every day. And if you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. I pretty much answer them all. And if you like the video and or share it, it helps us out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.